What is intersex? Well, intersex is where a person or an animal is somewhere between male and female. Nobody is exactly male and nobody is exactly female. People are predominantly male or predominantly female. And there are many people, maybe 1% of the population, are somewhere in between. And this happens for many reasons. It can be genetic. Some people have different genes from the average person. The average person may have XY for male or XX for female. But there can be all sorts of variations that lead to the body developing as not predominantly male or not predominantly female. For instance, like Kleinfelter's syndrome or many other syndromes. Also physical. Physical things that happen in the womb, like trauma in the womb, can damage, do some brain damage or damage to the ovaries of the test, which stop the child developing to the full potential of the average sex that they might have been intended to be. Also, children in the womb may develop physically different, for instance, like cloacal extrophy. They have their gastrointestinal system and the bowel system can be mixed up with the reproductive system. And it's unclear sometimes whether to bring them up as a boy or a female or what kind of surgery to do. Maternal hormones. So sometimes some mothers can have huge amounts of estrogen floating around their body and it can cross the placenta and cause a male child not to masculinize as much as they perhaps were going to. Or lots of androgens from the mother as well can virilize a female child. Fetal hormones in that the child itself may have a failure of the gonads of the ovaries or the tests and also they may have uh, extraordinary active adrenal gland in some children which causes conditions like adrenal hyperplasia. We also have problems exposure to toxins. Now there are lots of toxins in the environment that are uh, pesticides and there are plastics which can cause a child to be born somewhere in between male and somewhere in between female. Toxins that somebody can be exposed to after birth because you can become intersex after birth and these toxins can stop the brain from working as well or can stop the gonads, the ovaries or the tests from working as well and the child develops in a different way. Also, exposure to toxins in the womb uh, is quite prevalent throughout the world and we're not really monitoring it. We have organ failure. So organ failure is what happens in some adults like children who do not really develop very large testicles. They're, you know, they're hypo gonadal or ovaries, so it doesn't influence the way that they might have ordinarily developed. Trauma, adult trauma. If somebody is in a car accident and they lose their testes or they lose their ovaries or they suffer some kind of brain damage, it can change the whether they're masculine or female, it can masculinize them or female. Disease. Disease is often forgotten when we think about intersex people. Cancer particularly can attack some of the organs in the body and cause children to, and adults, to masculinize or feminize. And finally, iatrogenic uh, intersex. In other words, it can be intervention of drugs by accident or on purpose, or um, surgical. and which changes the body of the person, so it's not exactly male or female. Now, some people need help when they are identified or self-identify as intersex because they want to change their body to represent something else. But many intersex people don't. Many intersex people don't have medical problems and they're quite happy identifying themselves as intersex. So intersex is a vast subject. I hope you've learned a little something. Take care for now. See you later.